Hi, my name's Kathy. I work at Science World and today I'm at the beach. It's a hot, sunny, beautiful day. Of course I'm at the beach. And how many of you have ever gone to the beach and made a sand castle? If you're saying no right now, I'm going to make a sand castle and I'm going to show you two different types of sand castles and we're going to talk about the science that goes into making a sand castle. Yes, there's even science in a sand castle. So come on down here. So I have two containers here. I just use old potting containers. One container is full of dry sand. Now I want you to think what's going to happen with the dry sand. The other container is full of wet sand. What's going to happen with the wet sand? Make a prediction. Let's see if you're right. So I'm going to start with the dry sand. Ready? Oh, just as I thought. That didn't work out so well. Let's try the wet sand. Ooh, nice. Now, you've all done this, but have you ever thought, why? Why doesn't this one fall apart and this one doesn't stick together? Well, you already know why. It's because of the water. But what exactly is happening? What is the science? Well, the science is that there's something called surface tension on water. And the surface tension is acting like a glue. And it's sticking every little particle of sand together so that it doesn't fall apart. But what happens if you add too much glue? Sometimes, You can have too much of a good thing. And that's what's happening right there. Too much glue and it all just washes away. Or someone comes along and does that. So there you go. Next time you come to the beach, I want you to make a sand castle. And I want you to explain to somebody, why does water make sand stick together? Have fun with that. Bye.